Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia aka Crafty Owl here with a project for cat scrappiness. I'm going to be using some of the newest Summer Vibes goodies to create a quick, fun, and easy card. I hope you'll keep watching to see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you haven't yet checked it out, Cat Scrappiness just had a huge release and it was called Summer Vibes. There are so many great dyes, stencils, stamp sets, and this fun Summer Vibes paper pad. As soon as I saw this cute little page with pineapples, I immediately thought of Hawaii. So I thought today I would make kind of a tropical inspired card. And I will also be using the new A2 Reverse Scallop die set. I will have both of these products as well as the entire new release linked in that description box below so you can check it out when you're done here. As I get into the process, if I add any other products or tools, I will be sure to let you know. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! Since I want this fun pineapple paper to be the star of the show, I cut a piece off the bottom that was five and a half inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall so it would fill the card front completely. Now the leftover piece, the back of this one is pink and I will be using this here in just a little bit to die cut my sentiment from. Speaking of die cutting, that is what I did next. I chose the middle frame for this nesting set of three reverse scallop dies. I took that off camera to die cut it from the green paper. And not only do I have my frame, but I have that inside piece, which on the back is a fun pattern. For my sentiment, I got out one of my most favorite die sets from Cat Scrappiness, the uppercase condensed alphabet dies. I will be die cutting Aloha, so I got out the letters I'll need, and I will end up cutting two of those A's. I just love to use these dies for cards because they're nice and bold, but they're also a little condensed or skinny, so they fit nicely. I noticed when I placed my alphabet letters on top of the frame in the middle of the card that it got a little bit lost with those cute pineapples. So you know one of my favorite things to do is to cut a piece of vellum. So off camera I cut a piece that would fit behind this frame. I added a small line of art glitter glue to the back and then I let this sit to the side for about five minutes to dry before I moved on. You can see now, once that had time to dry, when I put it behind the Aloha, the letters stand out much better, but you can still see those cute pineapples behind the framed piece. I spent some time working on the placement of my sentiment. Now to avoid having to be perfectly straight across, you'll notice here that I offset each of the letters just a little bit. To get them onto my frame, I'm using art glitter glue once again, and I started with the outside two letters, doing the best I could to get them the same height from the bottom and the same amount sticking out on either edge. Then I placed the middle letter or the O, and I placed the L and the H centered between those outside parts. Now I did end up with a little bit too much space on the left there around the L, but we're going to fix that here in just a little bit. Once I had all of those letters in place, once again I sat them under that stamp block and let them dry for about five minutes. 
While that was drying, I used my brother's scan and cut to cut some of the flowers from that pretty floral paper. Now you don't have to have a scan and cut to do this. You could definitely use a pair of fine tip scissors. But I thought that one of these would make a nice embellishment for the front and it kind of hides the fact that there's a little extra room between the L and the O. I ended up going with that smallest flower thinking the other two were just a little bit too large and to add some dimension I added some foam dots to the back and popped that up in place. Now it's time to get the card put together. I brought in a card base from my stash and I got the pineapple paper adhered to the front of the card. I really like how this just fills the entire card and it's nice and bold. For the frame piece, I did add some foam tape to the back, including a couple pieces behind the O. And that was just so if that center got pressed down, it would still stay up off the card. Once I pulled the release paper on the back of that, I got it centered on my card front. Now to finish it off, I did want to add a little bit more shine, so I brought in these cute enamel dots from Cat Scrappiness. I thought the yellow matched the pineapples really well, and I added a trio on the vellum frame. I did kind of a triangle shape just to really draw your eyes into that focal point and the aloha. And here's a final look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.